I'm rolling, so whenever you want to answer that one. Okay. Right now I'm feeling I'm feeling good due to the sh uh, the show last night. A lot of people came out and showed love. All generations, all scenes. Thank you, Mo. Thank you, Starbrand. Thank you, Subspace. Thank you, all of you guys. Just Tucson really came out, so it's got me feeling really loved, and I'm really grateful right now for what the city put together. What's up? My name's Nate No Face. Born in Tucson, Arizona, now living in LA. I do synth punk music, minimal wave, kind of incorporate all genres into one style. Excited. This will be my first solo show in Tucson. I've only played there with uh, Crime Kills, my early band. So, and definitely not since, uh, you know, I kind of went up and more people have noticed me. Definitely not have played. I mean, there's a whole generation now in Tucson that knows me, but since I've lived in LA. I got people leaving comments on my page saying, you ain't from the 520, they, they have no fucking clue. I just got on their radar, but. Yeah, really excited, man. So we're gonna have everybody there. Old heads, new generation. It's gonna be dope. I got really into it and I just knocked them all out. Yeah, yeah, then she went crazy with it. <laughs> like, but it's for, that'll be like for some people, my boy's gonna sell alcohol at the show. Cause we really did this DIY, like just two some people put this together for me. And so we wanna make sure everyone's of age drinking, so she made those for yeah. me. And then she made these and then flyers. Just the, to print out the flyer, like, so that like people could keep them. And they're just like free. <laughs> oh, Val means everything to me. She's, she's my half. Uh, uh, in all this, you know, my partner in all of this. Uh, met me when I was doing Crime Kills, and uh, uh, when we broke up, you know, I just did my solo stuff, and I'd have just been still doing my solo stuff in my closet, never really chasing it, and still been a mess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it, now we can go home now. Enjoy, guys. Like this spot back in my day, this whole fucking art place would be fucking filled with everybody coming after the club and getting hot dogs. And it wasn't inside, it was on the outside. They served you, and this was all the patio area that you ate at. But nothing but fucking, yeah, it'd get going down. You see nothing but trucks and all the doors open and music playing. It just, it was a sight. But yeah, my roots are deep in Tucson. I'm the one. Besides my aunt, who got hooked up with the Navy guy, so she had to leave, I'm the only one that left Tucson, and then my brother followed. But I'm, you like, we call it, you don't leave the reservation. Like, no one in my family leaves this city. You stay close, help your family out. I was just a dreamer. I had to leave. Right here, we're in downtown Long Beach. Right on Broadway and Linden, this is the first place that I moved into when I came from South Central to Long Beach, right? Got out of South Central, scored me a job in, uh, down in Long Beach Airport, so this is my first pad that I got. 
lived here eight years, studio apartment. So I moved here solo and then I think about six months after my lady moved in with me and we lived there together, her doing photos, me doing music for eight years in a studio apartment. When you finish it, come again. Oh, okay. Thank you. Right. Right there. Yeah. That's where some of the packages get stolen. Remember? That was another store right there. Yeah. She just knocked it down and made it the spot. It's a historical building. This was my beginnings in Long Beach. Crazy as my room was apartment 11. And uh, what are you talking about? Now it's 304. That's oh, eight. yeah, this used to be number 11. And 11 is big for me. My bus going to a job is 111 at the time. My apartment was 11. I'm big on 11 11. But yeah, this is it. And our man. laundry was down here that we had to share. I don't know if it's there anywhere. Probably not. A lot of, a lot of music was made in there. My first. Two or three albums were made in this uh, uh, little studio apartment. And I was in the, at first I was just doing it all here and then my neighbors downstairs hated it. They would come knock on the door all the time. Like, oh, oh yeah. can you turn it down? Kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like one time that she knocked on the door, I already knew, okay, it's cause my music. Yeah. So I immediately opened the door and go, I'm sorry, the music is too loud. And she also, she goes, I just died laughing when I closed <laughs> the door. She goes, not just the music, but you're singing. <laughs> she hated it because I'm sitting there screaming, you know. The back, gotta fix the back. It was the first time since I was 21 years old that I had not worked consistently. Don't you dare! <laughs> I already saw that. That's all it would take. You wouldn't even have to pull. You just have to take my feet off and I'd do the rest. <laughs> all your strength for Before that. Before the tour, you have to oh, yeah, yeah, make yeah. sure you don't do anything to hurt yourself. Because no, no. It's going to be I, like a month straight. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I was just telling my family that. So this is the No Face Show at Subspace Art Gallery done by Scatterbrain and we're about to go see the crew. They got five o'clock sound crew set up, 6.15 bands load in, 6.40 Nate sound check, doors open at seven, and first rap act, Psy, is on at eight, then DJ at 8.50, then War Prison at 9.30, and then Nate at 10.45, me. And then 12 o'clock car curfew, 6th Avenue, Tucson. But uh, uh, yeah, I still get nervous all day. And then there's a generation who knows me from Crime Kills. And then there's a whole new generation who doesn't know me. And they're all going to be here in one building tonight. So, yeah. My fucking back went out. So, I'm like, ah, oh, man, I got to give this city a good show. Just throw it all on the line. Might be in a wheelchair by the end of the night. This Jose, he's filming it. This is the girl who put it all together. Come on, nice to meet you, bro. How do you feel, Nate? I feel good. I'm still nervous as fuck, well, always. It don't matter. Yeah, I feel fine. It feels crazy doing my show in Tucson.
just like the, I always think of the scene of uh, the Irishman when he's got all the pistols on the bed and he's talking about what weapons you use for certain jobs. That's my shit right there. Do one more spot check. Like I said, I don't do this shit. I will be ready to get on stage and be missing something, man. If it's every fucking time, she always yells at me like, you got everything. Drug addiction, man. Yeah. I was there. Yeah, I was really fucked up on drugs for a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, that's what a lot of my shit is. Heartbreak and heartbreak that I caused my family, my people. And like I said, I come from a group of friends where that shit's a no-go. Uh, uh, they sell the drugs. They don't do the drugs. Yet I did do the drugs because where I come from, that shit was like water. I mean, I got a friend who's 30 years old, already had three heart attacks. You know, cocaine is just around in my city like crazy. But uh, uh, so it's just heartbreak of whoa, uh, you know, what drugs made me do. That's it. What, 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 like, why do you feel like you had to make that song? What got it through you? Like, you feel like it's a coping thing for you? Like, it's like, it helps you deal with your past? Oh, big life? time, man. Uh, that's one of my, I really make music for me. As cliche as it sounds, like it's, you know, you hear people say, oh, it's my therapy and all that shit. That shit's like, uh, it is for me. I, I make music strictly for me and then, if the, I'm grateful and so glad and happy that the world's digging it right now. But uh, even if all this shit went away, I'd still be in my room making music. That's what I do. Tucson means everything to me. I mean, that's born and raised from a child playing to uh, everything. The desert, the, uh, my friends, my people, my family, the stories we lived and what we did uh, living along the border. Tucson's kind of like a place where outlaws and artists meet. And, you know, since the cowboy days, it's been like that. So uh, I think that's really embedded in my music. So Tucson means a lot to me. I don't 
start it with yeah. the question. Okay. The title track, Homicide, on my forthcoming album, Homicide, I uh, wrote that about just being down for someone you really love, and as long as they are on your side, you, you'll do anything. You feel like you can get away with it all, you get away with murder, you feel so confident, and that's that's what that song's about, is I'll just, I'll kill for those I love. So it's, uh, when you're on my side, it's a homicide. Uh, the first single off the album, Homicide, will be Hate Me When I'm High which is a song that means a lot to me because it's a song I wrote in regret dealing with my drug addictions and, and uh, how I, uh, people really can love me and uh, then I let them down and I really regret it the next morning. So it's a song that just I always kind of keep in the back of my head, like don't fuck up because you hate when you're high. So that means a lot to me. We got a music video coming out for it, so check out for that one. Bro. Oh, oh, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, oh, oh. 